What's up Fit Fam? Welcome back to the channel. So we are back again with a, another installment of our home gym build, renovation, update, DIY, whatever you want to call it. We have another installment for you and if you are any way shape or form like me, you are balling on a budget. Like you can't just put all of your funds into something all at once because then all your other bills kind of go by the wayside and you know you have mortgages and car insurance which is astronomical right now and electric bills and you know you know bills adult stuff that nobody wants to deal with but we have no choice so everything has been really really slow and i apologize for you guys because you're like come on get it done already it's been forever so in my last video i asked you guys to send me all your good juju so that i could finally finally pass firearms at work it must have worked because i did pass in fact it's a miracle i don't know how i did it but i managed there's that so we finally got just a little bit of time to work on the gym all thanks to me having to um, go to this training for two and a half weeks because that means i actually got days off normally i don't have any days off ever never ever so it's very hard to put time into something where i have none so thankfully we had some time, got started on some projects, finished up like some really small bits and pieces of stuff. And since I can't put, you know, four, five, six, seven hundred dollars into buying all the materials I need at once, I buy little things here and there so that I can continuously do work on it, if that makes sense. So you guys will see throughout this uh, mini little video, um, you know, I was able to get that stuff done. So jumping in to my door project, I had no idea what I was gonna do. It was um, kind of like up in the air. I kind of just like left it. I knew it needed to be insulated. So I got like the super thin, um, board insulation and I was able to put that up. But then how do you cover it, you know? So again, balling on a budget. I am like the master of finding random crap to fit places that probably shouldn't. And you know, sometimes my ideas work out and sometimes they don't. And this one seemed to work out okay. You know, it, I'm sure that there's more professional ways of doing this, but again, it's me and it's Chuck and we're doing this together, you know, no outside help. And it's just a, a whole thing, you know. So we get things done the best we can. And I know you guys can relate because we all do it. So we had extra wall paneling while we were doing the walls. You know, I had like, you know, different size pieces that I didn't want to throw away because paneling, it's not super expensive, but I don't want to just throw away like half a panel. You know, I can find something to do with it. So the pieces that we had left over from the, the wall paneling that we already had up, I was able to put that along the door to cover up the insulation. And then I get on Amazon because I'm an avid Amazon shopper. And I bought peel and stick wallpaper, wallpaper uh, in the form of brick. And thankfully, because I bought it offline without seeing it in person, I had no idea if it was gonna match. So thankfully, it actually goes pretty well with the wall paneling that we bought. And <laughs> I never read instructions. So if you guys uh, know me personally, you know this firsthand. I never read instructions the way I should. Like I just like glance over it. I'm like, oh, yep, looks good. So number one, I didn't have enough of the peel and stick wallpaper. I ran out but I had enough to finish one door. Also didn't have enough paneling to cover up the other door and I also need to buy more insulation because again, balling on a budget, so I do with what I have. So I still need to buy um, another sheet of insulation so that I can finish the door and then once we get more wall paneling, I can slap that up there and then get more 
peel and stick wallpaper, throw that up there. And I will tell you, I know exactly why wallpaper is going out of style and or has gone out of style because this was awful. The first sheet wasn't so bad, but then trying to line up the second one was like a nightmare. And the sun was out and it was scorching hot. And the more the sun beat down on that peel and stick paper, the more stretchy it got, you know, like the more pliable. And I don't think that's a good thing because then it didn't like line up perfect. But again, it's just me and it's just Chuck. We don't have to have perfect, you know? So then we moved on to like little projects. I had like little hooks to hold the door open because I've been using uh, cinder block for, you know, well over a year. So we got little hooks, made everything nice and fancy. And then the shelving unit that I actually bought over a year ago, we finally got to put it up. Got some of this stuff off the floor. Ta-da. We're making progress, people. Baby steps. Now, if you can relate in any way, shape, or form to DIY projects at home, using what you got, not having to put a whole lot of money into something, if you already have something that might work, you just need to change a few things, let me know, because I know I'm not the only one. You know, I really don't like DIY. Like, I don't wanna do anything myself if I don't have to but you have to, you know, you have to make it work. So my next video probably won't be for a little while because I am gearing up for another knee surgery. If you are not on my Instagram, then you probably don't know about this, but travel on over there and there's usually uh, more frequent updates, but I am having a knee surgery at the end of the month, which is like two and a half weeks away. Should be really quick and easy. I'm supposed to be in and out. I am gonna have some time off work, like a month or so, given that all things go well, cross our fingers. And then hopefully some of my pain can be cured. So if you enjoyed this update, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, as well as tap that subscription button, and I'll catch you next time.